All right, this quick video is, to, is one of my subscribers. I think he's one of my subscribers. I used to post on one of my videos. Last video I made, Jay Wiley 50, he said that I missed the point about Mr. Uh, Pelican nose. He was saying that there wasn't uh, whether or not Jordan's the gold or LeBron is the gold, it's that people seem to pay more attention to LeBron's L's as opposed to Michael's L's. Well, the thing of it is this. Nobody really remembers first round playoff losses or, you know, to an extent, second round playoff losses. When you're on the biggest, everybody remembers the finals. The point is, when you're in NBA finals, that's the grandest stage in basketball. Michael Jordan was six for six. People just associate when the stage was higher and higher, Michael played better and better. That's just how it is, okay? That's just how the, th the cookie crumbles with that. LeBron James, his legacy is mixed when it comes to finals. Some games, after a rigorous pep talk and much film watching, like he did last year, after the first couple of games when he was a bit shaky, LeBron finally came through. But there were many instances, 2011, okay, 2014 for, certain, for some games, he didn't come through. That's the truth. Okay? 2012, 2013, last year, okay, he did in certain stretches. But he's never dominated in a finals the way Michael did and win at the same time. Now, Cleveland in 2015, the shorthanded team, I'll give him all the credit of the world. Aside from his inefficiency from scoring, he dominated that finals. You can make the argument he should have won the finals if he beat. But there's been so many times when LeBron James is in those moments where he lets his team down. How many times have he missed big free throws? How many times have he inexplicably turned the ball over? How many times has he deferred to a Kyrie Irving? When you look at Kyrie, you, you know, how many times have we ever seen Scottie Pippen uh, in the finals supplant Michael Jordan? Never. Never. How many times we see Marv Albert say, the Bulls down by one, it's Michael Jordan time. Everybody knew who was going to get that ball. And more often than not, more often than not, a majority of the time, Michael Jordan came through. That's not true for LeBron James. It's not. So he can score as many points as he wants to. He can get as many longevity records as he wants to. The fact remains that he's, he will never, in my opinion at least, he will never be as great as Michael. And people remember the, the, the losses Jordan had. Nobody is holding LeBron back you know, for losing in the playoffs, you know, earlier in his career. Everybody loses, generally speaking, unless you come into the league with a great team like Magic did in Bird. But as we on the, 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 the highest stage, that's what people remember. Like in 84 finals, Chris Broussard brought this up. Magic Johnson had a horrible series by his standards. He was called Tragic Johnson. You know what he did? The very next year, he started working on his outside shot, trying to improve the deficiencies he had in his game. And they wanted to win the title. LeBron James is a tremendous player. But no player in the NBA has had quite the legacy Michael Jordan had. And people are trying to make him to be, make him out to be more than what he is. Some of LeBron. And he's not Michael Jordan. He's simply not. I'm going to tell you this. I've never heard anybody give me a compelling argument as to why anybody should put LeBron over Jordan. As a matter of fact, y'all might find this arrogant, but you know who made the best argument I've ever heard <clears throat> to put LeBron over Michael? 
Me. I did. When I said that 20, 30 years from now, because they're changing social, uh, the social consciousness of people in America, and, and, and particularly African Americans, Michael Jordan might be viewed differently. We, we remove all of us who watched him when we die, and you and you have a totally objective eye, and you have people who aren't as educated as they once were in sports, as people are becoming. LeBron might be viewed differently because you're viewing him from a, a, a totally different prism. Because it's becoming less about sports and more about um, who you like or who you can relate to and shit like that. Sugar Robinson, people aren't even mentioning him as the greatest fighter of all time anymore. It's Muhammad Ali. But boxing purists know as great as Ali was is, is Robinson. But that's starting to be changed. And this is what I was talking about. I made a better argument than most people. And I don't even think that. I'm telling you, you guys are playing checkers. I'm playing chess. Bye.